By March of 2020, we started just getting inundated with inquiries on the COVID-19, mostly related to pregnancy. And yet we had basically almost zero data, particularly around pregnancy. We now know that COVID can be more severe in pregnancy. Um, we know that uh, COVID increases the risk of preterm birth, particularly among those with severe disease. We now know that COVID can be transmitted in utero, transplacentally. Um, it's rare, but it does occur. And we now know that breastfeeding can be safe for COVID-infected mothers. Pregnant women are at increased risk for severe morbidity and as well as mortality um, if they become infected with COVID-19 um, during pregnancy. And so that really has been part of the impetus to, you know, really encourage pregnant women to seriously consider the COVID vaccine once it became available. When a pregnant person is thinking about uh, whether or not to get vaccinated, there are several important things to consider. First is her likelihood of infection. Is she leaving the house? Is she able to stay at home? Who else is in the household um, who may be going out of the house and may be at risk? What are the community transmission rates like wherever she's um, living or staying? Does she have other comorbidities? But really for the vast majority of pregnant women, the wise decision is going to be to get vaccinated. While it is true that, you know, we did not have pregnant women in the clinical trials, as of April 5th, according to the Centers for Disease Control vSAFE app, we've had nearly 78,000 pregnant women that have received the COVID-19 vaccine, which is most likely probably an underestimate since most of them don't always sign up for the vSAFE app. And yet the side effects that have been reported in the vaccine adverse events reporting system maintained by the Centers for Disease Control have not shown any kind of increased risk compared to their non-pregnant peers. The data that we're looking at now largely is in pregnant women who were vaccinated mostly in the third trimester and have now delivered. So um, ongoing um, pregnancies, we don't have as much information obviously, but that will be um, captured uh, with time. Pregnant women don't seem to have any more side effects than anybody else. But in addition to that, we have not found any pregnancy associated concerns, you know, like increased risk of miscarriage or birth defects or anything like that. The Centers for Disease Control have a pregnancy registry that is in place that currently has about 4,200 women enrolled in it. And they are going to follow women throughout the entire pregnancy through various trimesters and then the infants up to three months so I think this information is going to provide evidence on safety, immune response, and insights to even potential passive immunity for the neonate. What has come out in the last, say, two to three weeks is actually um, some preliminary data in small numbers of women um, who have been vaccinated um, mostly in the third trimester. That preliminary data suggests that those women actually develop robust antibody response to the vaccine and that those antibodies then cross the placenta and are protective for the baby. At the moment, we do not know what the um, correlate of protection is in terms of what antibody response, but I think it's important to recognize that the vaccine seems to work like other vaccines that we use in pregnancy. That's always comforting to pregnant women to know that they're protecting themselves, but they're also potentially protecting their babies. Right now, we're recommending that pregnant women get whatever vaccine is available to them. We do not have enough information, and luckily we don't have concerns about any of the currently available vaccines. I think as we learn more and more, the strength of our recommendation, for example, the strength of ACOG's recommendation to recommend the vaccine will be strengthened. So right now we are offering the vaccine to pregnant women, and I think at a certain point we're going to be stronger in our recommendation that pregnant women get vaccinated, just like we recommend the flu vaccine for any person who's pregnant during flu season. Thank you.